All right, my people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are hearing us from. From here, it is a good morning, and you are hearing this news from Victory Voice TV, where you get all those news that matter to us. It's a very good morning, and I wish you the very best for the day. Please pray for Biafra Liberation Army. Yes, if you are just meeting us for the first time, please do always like our videos and drop your comment because the analysis you hear you have to say your own opinion now the news is this that uh, federal government now approves the purchase of 12 attack helicopters for army that is uh chief of staff is saying in other words those that have been claiming they are fighting boko haram they have not been fighting anything because they don't have fighter helicopters they don't have fighter helicopters so they are purchasing fighter helicopters now because Biafra now has army. You can see the handwriting on the wall. The game is getting clearer. Though we are not afraid of their fighter helicopters because we have another fighter helicopters above the, the, the cloud. Yes, we have Chukwoki Kabiyama who has what it takes to fight our enemies. By themselves, they will kill themselves. The cost alone we give them on this channel and other related channels will make them to fall because Nigerian army must go down. The army that fights civilians and not fight Boko Haram, it must go down. With the truth, with truth, we will destroy Nigeria. All right, listen. Let me read what I have here, what to word. He said the federal government of Nigeria, in support of the operationalization of Nigerian Army Aviation, has approved the acquisition of the initial 12 MD 530F KUs at helicopter attacks that will actualize the operationalization of the Nigerian Army. Nigerian Army Aviation to effectively tackle insecurity challenges bid evening the country a statement from the nigerian director army director of public relations onye mawachuku reads the acquisition of the new attack helicopter is part of ongoing efforts by the federal government to boost the operational capabilities of the army aviation to appropriately respond to temporary and emerging emerging security threats all right, General Lagbaja further reviewed that since 2014, the Nigerian Army has made commendable progress in training pilots, aircraft engineers, technicians, and other ground support crew, adding that the Nigerian Army understands the highly technical nature of the aviation business and the need to be appropriately monitored or mentored. All right. Hence, its international collaboration and submission of its uh, nascent aviation outfit to the monitoring of the Nigerian Army Force, as the service does not have the luxury of making mistakes when it can learn from other experienced aviation outfits. Okay, all these cock and bull stories is just to lie and uh, make up stories because they are so afraid. They are receiving water, water from east, west, north, and south. They are receiving it hot, 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 bomber to bomber because they have failed in their duties. Yes, militaries are supposed to be at the borders of their nation. That is, they will stay there. If there is anything external war that is about to come, they will combat it. And if there is any, you know, terrorism going around, in the vicinity where they are, they will combat it. But this time around, the people they call terrorists are the freedom fighters, people that say conduct referendum. Let us even know if we want to belong in Nigeria or not because the amalgamation has expired and needs to be renegotiated, okay? So, but they don't want renegotiation because they know they will lose what is called Nigeria because they have failed humanity in all ramifications so they don't want to give you that chance to make choice so everybody in nigeria has no choice robots robots strictly robots anywhere they push you you should go there if you say no they kill you 
but a particular region that's a bit of a land has said no, ho, no, no, no to what they are doing. That we are no, we are not robots. We have rights as humans, and uh, at that they have their own military terrorists in uniform because the military you are seeing today they are mostly Boko Haram. Some wished to come and fight Bia France and to kill innocent people and to pave way for Fulani to take over. That's actually their work. And then uh, knowing this, we can't uh, form ignorance. Truth, they say, will set you free. So when you hear truth, don't sell it. Use it to equip yourself. Use it to uh, form yourself. Use it to defend yourself. Use it to build yourself. That is truth for you. You cannot hear truth and somebody will tell you, oh, it is a lie. And you now suddenly believe that truth is lies. That means the person has deceived you. And that means the person will kill you. Just because it just deceived you, you are gullible. You accepted lies in the name of truth. Rejected truth and called truth lies. You see, what Nandekano has done will never ever be overlooked. Overlook it at your own peril. Because Fulanese are not giving it up, all right? They have that idea, they have that ideology, and they fight for it. And every government that comes, if you don't support Fulani, you will die. Like, they will rubbish that government. But you see any government that is moving on in Nigeria, that means it's supporting that jihadist movement, Islamization agenda. Britain is supporting it because if Fulani are in power, or if they are happy, Britain can have anything they want in Nigeria. But you know what? Use that region, Sora and Yinson are that region. You see that eastern zone? Run away from it. We know they are the goose that lay the golden egg that Nigeria is eating, that uh, Tunubu is using to, to be big. That is the golden egg laid in Biafra land, the oil. All right? He just hiked the price of the oil just so as to make himself richer. What is he doing with richness? Nobody knows. But that is not even why we are here. Why we are here is that uh, we are not relenting. We have already come. No retreat, no surrender. Water, water. Whether you come with fighter jets or with combat uh, helicopter, you will go down. That is the promise that uh, Biafran Army is giving you. You will go down. Hence, you will step your feet in that Biafran land in the bid to kill innocent people or to kill freedom fighters you definitely will go down you will not succeed all right that is the news for the day i just want you to drop your own opinion because my opinion may not be a general opinion it's just my simple opinion the way i look at things just drop your comment like our videos and then share to other channels god bless you all